Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Variable. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool text hover effect animation that we're able to achieve without the use of any um, code or additional plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, we're able to design something that looks like this. Also, when you hover, you have a different image with um, a call to action here for you. Same here. And then you can also make it for video. You can also use video as well. And then when you hover, you have this image, have this, and then you have this one as well. You can also make use of a slideshow in Yehovah, you have this and have this, and it's responsive on all devices. So we can test that out by coming over here. You can see how it looks on the desktop. It looks wonderful on desktop. Okay. And then when you come over here, you select um, the mobile. You can see it also looks nice on mobile and works perfectly well on mobile. And then when we go over to tablet, you can see as well, it looks great on tablet as well. And all of effects working perfectly on tablet. Okay, so without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So with our Elemental Editing screen, the first thing we're going to do is just going to come over here and uh, we're going to add a uh, structure. Let's let that container. And then for that container, we're going to come over to the Advanced Settings and give it a padding of 100 all around. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to click on this plus icon here and drag the container and drop it right within. Now for this first container, we're going to call it the Parent Container. And then for the second container, we're going to call it chart container now the reason for renaming this is so that we know which container i'm talking about whenever i am uh, uh, referring to a particular container okay now for this chart container i'm going to come over here content which i'm going to set it to boxed and then for the direction we're going to set it to real horizontal and then i'm going to go over here to the style option sorry to the advanced option and um okay i think everything is done for this chart container for now so let's just come over here click on this plus icon and let's search for a widget called the flip box okay let's drag and drop this widget here now for this widget here i'm going to remove this icon i'm also going to remove the description i will be needing it okay then i'm going to come down here to the advanced settings so the settings and then for the height i'm going to set the height to 500 pixel and then for the border radius i'm going to give it a value of 10 pixel and for the flip effect i'm going to set it to feed Okay, all right, so now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to the front and then I'm going to head to the background for the front and I'm going to set it uh, the background type to classic and then for the color of the background, I'm going to set it to transparent. Now, I'll set it to transparent. This text here, this header text, which is color white, is not going to display. Not to worry, as soon as we're done, you're going to see what we're doing. Okay, so you can see it's no longer displaying. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the back. And for the back, I'm going to come over here and I'll remove the heading text. Okay. So I just left with the description and the button text. So for the button text, I'm going to change it to len more. Okay. And then I'm going to go head over to the background. Now for the background here, I'm going to set it to classic and, and I'm going to set a background image for this. Okay. So we're going to go to my library and I'm just going to select this image here. Okay. And then for the image settings we're just going to set it to position center center repeat no repeat display size curve bar okay and then for the background overlay we're going to add an overlay so we're just going to come here drag it and set it to this point okay so now that we've done this um the next thing we're going to do for this particular flip box is we just going to come over here to the style option and then we're going to go to the um first of all to the typography for the front Let's change the color to black so you see what we're doing. So we're going to increase uh, the typography, the font size to 25 pixel. Okay. And then we're going to go to the back. And for the back, the description, we're going to set the description font size to 20 pixel. Okay. All right. So this looks great. So the next thing we're going to do here is before we proceed any further, we're going to try to make this container, uh, this flip box responsive okay so let's check the responsiveness of this fleet box and be sure that everything is working well before we add our effect so we'll just come over here click on this responsive mode let's check it on tablet tablet we're go, what we're going to do on tablet is um for the description for the back the description font size we're going to set it to 18 pixel okay all right now i think that is it and then for the front for the front the title uh we're going to set 
the color to um, the font size to 20 pixel. Okay, so uh, I think we're done with the uh, tablet mode. Now let's go to the mobile mode. Okay, now for the mobile mode, what we're going to do here is well, first of all, we're going to go to the parent container. So for the parent container, we're going to go to the advanced settings and unlink this. Give it value of 100 to the top and then 100 to the bottom as well and then 20 to the left and 20 to the right okay all right so under we've done that let's go back to the uh, tablet mode and let's do the same for the parent con for the parent container let's come over to the layout and unlink this give it the value of 100 to the top 100 to the bottom and 20 pixel 20 pixel okay so now let's return back to the mobile and finish our mobile responsiveness now let's edit the clip box and then let's come over to first of all let's go to the settings and then for the height we're going to set the height to 200 pixel okay and then let's go to the advanced settings now for the advanced settings we're going to set the width to full width for the container for our container what is going to happen here but it's going to make sense later on okay so we're going to set it to full width then we're going to go to the style option and then for the title we're going to set the title font size to 18 pixel and then for the back we're going to set the description font size to 12 pixel and then for the button for the button we're going to set the type of the font size the text font size to 12 pixel as well okay so this is what we'll have now okay now the next thing we're going to do is our website our design is now uh, responsive looks nice on mobile looks nice on tablet and look nice on uh, on desktop so what we're going to do now is we're just going to duplicate this flip box three times okay so you can see this is what we have here all right and you can see that there is a gap between the flip boxes so we're going to go to the child container and then we're going to come over here under the layout we're going to come over to where there is gaps i'm going to set it to zero so now there is no more gap okay so now that i've done that the next thing we're going to do here is uh for this fix flip box container i'm going to edit this and then for the front i'm going to come and set the border type to solid and then i'm going to unlink this and then i'm going to give it a border to the right one one pixel and the border color i'm going to set it to white okay and then I'm just going to copy this effect here and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So it should be this container and this container that has that border. Okay. Now let's, we're going to apply that same border to the mobile. So for the mobile, I'm just going to come over here. Now this border for the front, instead of setting it to giving the value of right one pixel, I'm just going to unlink this and then I'm going to give the bottom one pixel. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this and then apply it and paste it on the second. Okay, so now that we've done that, and then uh, the next thing we're going to do is just go over, go back here. And then, all right. So what I'm going to do next is, uh, let me just come over here so we see what we are doing. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to the child container. Now go to the style option for the child container. And then for the background type, I'm going to give it a background. Then set the background type to classic and i'm going to give it set the background image for that all right so just come over here and let's select this image okay now for this image i'm going to set the position to to bottom center and then i'm going to set the repeat to no repeat and the display size i'm going to set it to cover so we now have something that looks like this okay before we forget we need to change back the color of our front text to um our front heading text title text we're going to change it back to white remember we we'll change it to black so that we can see what we are doing so we'll change it to white just going to copy this effect then i'm going to paste it here so we'll have it here for the last one now go over here and then just change it to white here okay now let's go back to our chart container so we we'll finish what we're doing so now we're going to come over here to the background over there let's give it a background over there set the color to black and then for the opacity we're going to Set it to 0.2 to 0.22. Okay, so we see our effect is now coming into form. The next thing we're going to do is uh, still on this child container, we're going to come over here to the border. Then we're going to give it a border radius of 10 pixel all around. 
So you now have something that looks like this. So now when you hover, you get this. You hover, you're gonna get the different image. So we're gonna set different images for the next flip box. For this flip box here, we're gonna go to the back, and then for the background, we're gonna change the image and set this image here. Okay. And then for this other clip box, we'll do the same. We'll go to the background for the back, and then we're gonna change the image and then we're gonna sell it to this image here. So we've successfully done that. And then let's come over here. Let's close this. Uh, okay, so you can see now, this is what we have here. So when you hover this different image shows, you hover a different image shows. There's an option for you to learn more, you hover a different image shows. And guess what? It's we set the responsiveness on all devices so you can see automatically it's responsive on all devices as well. And for the mobile, it looks really okay. For the mobile, we we'll have a little thing to do, which is for the let's go back here to our editor. Now, let's go over to the chat container and let's do something to our background. Now, for the position for our background, we're going to set it to custom for the mobile. So, for the X position, we're going to set it to minus 360. Let me set it to minus 360. Okay, so you can see it now looks great on the mobile with the hover effect showing. Okay, so now let's go back here. Now, mind you, we, we have made use of, as you can see, for the chat container, we made use of the background type classic. Now, we can also make use of the background type video and then the slideshow to make it to create a wonderful design. Using this effect, all you just need to do is come over to this parent container here. I'm going to duplicate this parent container. Okay, now for this one here, we're going to change the parent container title to let's say video. So we're going to add a video background type and then let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to the chat container. If I do that, let's go to the various flip box and let's change the images, the hover images, the background images for the back. Now let's go back here and let's select another image for that. So we're gonna select uh this image. Okay, gonna select that image and then uh for this one here we're gonna come over to the back. Um then we're gonna select which of the image. Let's select this image and then for this we're gonna come back here, come over to the back, the background, and then we're gonna select finally this image here. Okay, so now, now that we've done that, we're going to go to the child container here and let's go to the background. And now from the background type, we're going to set it to video. Now here you can add either make use of a YouTube video or a video you've uploaded to your uh, website. So I'm going to make use of a video that I've already uploaded to our website. So this video here, I'm just going to copy the URL and then I'll hold back and then I'll paste it here. Now remember to toggle this to here so that it plays on mobile as well. Okay. All right, so now that we've done that, and then you can add a fallback image here, whereby in case the image doesn't load, the video doesn't load fast, the, this image will display. Okay, so you can see now, this is what we have here. And when you hover, you have a different image, you hover, you have a different image, you hover, you have a different image, and the video is playing in the background. And guess what? It's also responsive. If you come over, let's turn on the responsive mode and so we can see. So what you find on mobile or on tablet and even on mobile, it looks great on mobile as well. You can see it looks great on mobile with a hover effect working perfectly. Okay. So let's talk, close this uh, responsive mode and then let's add a third effect as well. So I'm just going to duplicate this one here. I'm going to add a third effect, which is what the slideshow that I made mention. So I'm just going to change this video title to slide. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over to our uh, flip boxes like I did before. Uh, I'm going to go to the back, change the background image. Let's look for an image. And, and okay, let's set this image here. And then let's come over here. I'm going to head to the back. And then let's set this image here. Okay. And then let's come over to this last flip box. I'll go to the back. Uh, and then back select this image here okay so now now that we've done this and then uh the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to the child container and then we'll go to the background style now instead of setting video we're going to set it to slideshow so it's going to give us the option to upload the images we want to be displaying now slideshow so we're going to select this image 
and this image output of create. We can even select as much images as we want, but I'll I'll, I'll I'll advise that you select three images and mostly, most of the time, select the images that you've already used as your flat box pack background images. So we only have two images here. So I, uh, uh, okay, I could either make use of these images here, but I would like to make use of these two images here. So just get the idea of what I've said. Okay, so you can see now, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can set the duration to whatever you want. So this is what you're going to get. When you hover, you have this. It's all about your training exercise and all that. So you can see it all looks great. And then even on responsive on all devices as well, you can see it looks wonderful on tablet. And then on desktop, on mobile, you can see it as well. Okay, so now let's close this and let's update it and let's preview it live on our website. Okay, let's click on preview. Now this is the one we made is of the classic background, as you can see. Talking about more like an advertising a Ferrari. Uh, then we'll come over here. This one is a video about nature. In Hova, you see more details about nature and then you can click on the text like that. And this is more about exercise and then we use the slide to show the background. So at the end of it, you can see that we've achieved this wonderful effect that is responsive on all devices without the use of any additional plugin or without the use of any code. So come to the end of this tutorial. If you're new to our channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And also feel free to drop your comments whenever you're confused or you have suggestions and I will do well to attend to, to as much as I can. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.